This is Palomar Update TV, the world's only TV network with the free petrochemicals news show. I'm Pratiksha Garkhera in Mumbai. It's good to have you with us. A special news reel today is sponsored by Jaipur Basin Lali Group. Let's start with energy and feedstock news. Crude oil prices end mixed class Friday ahead of U.S. sanctions against Iranian oil exports on one hand and a rise in the U.S. oil rigs count on the other. WTI traded at $74.34, a rise of 1 cent per barrel, while Brent finished at $84.16, a drop of 42 cents per barrel. According to Vandana Hari of Vandra Insights, crude futures began a fresh week in Asia with a big tumble as fears over supply tightness eased towards the end of last week amid reports of rising OPEC and Russian production. Market recalibration of estimated Iranian crude export volumes that debunked fears that they were approaching zero and yet another sign from the US that it is considering selective sanctions relief for importers of Iranian crude. Open spec NAFTA prices dropped by 8 US dollars per metric ton to the 729 US dollars per metric ton CFR Far East Asia levels. Despite a week on week rise in upstream crude and NAFTA rates, ethylene prices plunged in Asia last week. The steep price fall was mainly on account of ample product avails and persistent bearish demand trends. CFR Northeast Asia prices of ethylene were assessed lower at the 1,205 US dollars per metric ton levels, a week-on-week -week plunge of 65 US dollars per metric ton. CFR Southeast Asia prices were assessed down at the 1,090 US dollars per metric ton mark, a steep drop of 65 US dollars per metric ton from the previous week. Let's take a look at futures on China Dalian Commodity Exchange for today. On October 8, 2018, LLCPE prices are higher by 25 RMB per metric ton from the previous settlement at 9,500 RMB per metric ton. PP rates are up by 116 RMB per metric ton from the previous settlement at 9,984 RMB per metric ton. PVC prices are higher by 20 RMB per metric ton from the previous settlement at 6,720 RMB per metric ton. In plant news, PTT Global Chemical has restarted its 275,000 metric ton per year, number 3, high-density polyethylene unit located at Mapta Foot in Thailand early last week. The unit was shut for maintenance on September 18, 2018. Polmar Update has come up with monthly automobile industry insights for India as a value addition for its customers. The monthly report prepared by our in-house experts provides a 360-degree overview of the local automobile industry including regulatory issues, technological development, key international issues and latest trends affecting the industry. Visit polmarupdate.com to download the detailed report. Our special news reel today is sponsored by Jaipur based on Ali Group, a manufacturer of filler master batches, PP, PE, talc based, Color master batches, additive master batches, modifier, black and white master batches and special master batches. The company invites all to visit their stall number 39 at the Plast Nepal exhibition in Kathmandu, Nepal. That's all for today's Polymer News. Watch our daily news video tomorrow to know more. It's Monday, October 8th. This is Pratik Shagar Kera. Thank you. Find us on Facebook at facebook.com slash update and be sure to click the like button. You can also find us on Twitter at Polymer Update. For the latest news from the plastics and petrochemicals industry, subscribe to our YouTube channel and do not forget to hit the bell icon.